Hey guys, welcome to RD Custom Diecast, and today I just kind of want to show you what we've done in the shop this week. Uh, been working on a couple build projects. I do not have a full build video, so this is more of a reveal. So, uh, just kind of want to show you what we got going on and uh, see what you guys think. I did work on a Hot Wheels this week that was a 67 Chevelle. So, I wanted to do a theme based car. Uh, sometimes i do sometimes i don't this one uh i kind of want to go ahead and work on and we're going to call this one the silver bullet so on this one uh, i went ahead and did uh, blue and black racing stripes on it and of course the uh course light logo with the rocky mountains and blue Went ahead and detailed the uh, front, the grill, the uh, headlights, the uh, rear end. Also went ahead and did the uh, tail lights and uh, did that little trim space between the headlights and black as well. So interior wise, it's probably not gonna be able to see anything. We'll try guys. but we did add a custom steering wheel, T-handle shifter. Again, sorry guys, it's gonna be impossible just about to see. And we got a nitrous bottle in there. So that's what we've been working on, guys. Uh, I've had a lot going on this week. Uh, sorry guys, I didn't get a full build video out for y'all, but I'm trying to push out some customs I have promised to some guys and I pretty much got those complete except I have two more I've got to finish so uh, this next week's gonna be kind of hectic as well but uh, we may, may make a build video out of one of those uh, builds that I'm fixing to start doing now we're not gonna do the strip down and everything because I already got the casting strip so we may just do a build video uh, starting off with that uh, the only thing I did not like about this right here is I do got a little bitty mark right across here. You can see it if you look close enough. It's not too bad. Uh, for some reason, that uh, didn't print correctly in my printer. Uh, it was like that uh, when I pulled it off the water slide off. I uh, probably should have just printed some more, uh, but I didn't. I didn't want to waste these water slides. So, uh, it doesn't look that bad as on top. Uh, it does have 2K clear on it, so that is not a scratch. That is just a defect in the uh, water slide. Now these water slides I did print myself, um, and I did back it with a uh, white back image. Um, so I did a two layer process on the water slides. And the uh, printer that I'm using now, the laser printer, I'm actually, very 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 happy I mean there's no pixelation and as tiny as that 396 is well here's a better example the Chevelle up front that turned out great I mean if I can get it in focus you can read it just fine there's no pixelation I know some of the uh, water slides I've got off eBay has had horrible pixelation on them uh, so that's what I'm trying to get away from is actually buying the water slides online unless I absolutely have to, trying to do all my own design work as much as I can, keep everything in house. It does take a little more time to do your uh, builds and everything. It really is more cost effective if somebody has a particular uh, design already laid out. It's a little bit cheaper to spend five or six bucks than spend three or four hours trying to design something in Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Uh, to get the same results so i mean it's kind of hit and miss uh but since i do have all the equipment to do it myself i'm going to try to do for the most part everything myself and what like i say one of the reasons why guys is i've had horrible experience on some sellers not all of them some of them are spectacular but uh some of the sellers just uh their quality of their water slides are just terrible and if i can get a water slide i'm out of here without messing this camera up too much guys sorry so I got them on my desk let me kind of show you what I'm talking about on pixelation 
And these are some that I purchased. Give me just a second. Because I, I want you guys to see kind of what I'm talking about. Let me dig them out of the package real quick. good example is this rat fink. I don't know if it's going to show it really good, but if you look at this, I mean, from a distance it looks fine, but if you look at the little Roadrunner, I don't know if y'all can see the white dots and stuff in it. So, maybe trying to focus on the, the car too much. Sorry, guys. Hold it just right, maybe. Anyway, this is pretty pixelated. Maybe I can see it. Nah. Um, and there's some others that are the same way. Um, this right here. Again, it's going to be kind of hard to see, guys. The moon eyes. You really just have to have it in front of you to see it. Sorry guys, it keeps holding the focus over there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but the moon in Moon Eyes is pixelated. So uh, even the Acme Racing is actually pixelated in here. And if you look at the detail of this, like, even this Punisher, I mean, it's just, there is absolutely no pixelation in that. It's absolutely pristine. The Coors Light's pristine. You can read the Chevelle. And when you start going to like the smaller decals in here, um, let's see, these in particular, you can't even read them. And like this Chevelle is actually a tinier font and I can read it clearer than I can read, like, those right there. It's just, it's just the print quality, guys. So, like I say, that's why I want to do everything in-house and try to get a feel for it. Uh, this is something I'm not going to offer on my website. This is something I'm just doing for myself, uh, for my customs and stuff. And, it, you know, it makes it just one more step that it's 100% custom. Uh, doing it your own when you go ahead and produce your own water slides and everything as well so uh, I like having it where I have control over it like I say there might be times if I have a design issue or can't do a design that somebody has it I might wind up buying some if I need to uh, and if it's a good seller now there are some good sellers out there um, that have really good quality water slides um, I know uh, Jeff at WW Replicas, he really doesn't do stuff for the public, I don't think. His is stellar. Uh, and I think it's all, all to do with the equipment you use. So uh, that has a lot to do with it. I'm sure a lot of it has to do with it when you're doing your design. Uh, the image quality that you're using, the makeup your designs has a lot to do with it. So um, that's where we're at on this. So anyway, guys, I want to show you this week what we went ahead and produced for our custom this week. Uh, again, calling this one a silver bullet. I did make a, a card for it. And in just a minute, I'll show you this on the card. Okay, guys, we are back. And went ahead and put this on a custom card. Love to hear your opinion of the overall build. And I'm probably gonna put this over on our website, artycustomdiecasts.com, and it'll be available for sale. Just kind of help us uh, recoup some funds. Uh, went ahead and did the back, signed it. And uh, this will be one of them over there that we have for sale available. Uh, don't put all my customs up for sale. A lot of me you know uh, I do either trades or uh, giveaways to people. Um, but time to time, I will put some over on the website. I'll let y'all know when we got some on the website. And uh, 
if y'all want to support the channel, y'all head over there. Y'all can uh, take a look at it. Haven't decided if I'm ever going to do any raffles or anything on these yet at this time. I think I'm just going to put it up for sale. I think that'll just work out better. So if somebody wants it, they can uh, certainly go over there, take a look at it if they're interested and in purchase it. And it'd certainly help our channel and help fund for new equipment, uh, supplies, stuff like that as we go along. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for coming along today. If you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and that notification bell.